Okay, building Rhineland uh, 2. This is the lowest level, uh, which will be the um, staging and return loop level at about 55 centimeters off the ground. Certainly learned a lot. I'm now spending a lot of time getting things absolutely level as far as possible. The sides are screwed to the wall. And I'm now building the first layer of the of the helix upon which all the other layers of course will be uh, be built. I'm using a 100 mil differential for each circle which makes uh, count all the other measurements quite easy halfway around is 50 centimeter millimeters three quarters is 75 one quarter is 25 so you can build up the, the helix that way The outer circle will be used only for the uphill and will be a 3.6, roughly 3.6% rise with Markland trains with tyres that shouldn't be an issue. And because I'll have an automatic uh, control system layout with block system, the maximum train length will be about 1 meter 80, 2 meters or about 15 to 18 f freight cars and about five or six passenger cars maximum. So that seems to be reasonably smooth. Now I've got to spend time on making sure the track is really neat and clean before I build the next layer. Perhaps the most interesting thing about the Helix will be I have live catenary Overlaying, overlaying, um, which means that I'm going to be building the helix with catenary since my electric locomotives actually run off the, the catenary. So it means that the top level, here's a, a board that I need to cut out with lines marked on for the, for the rails. I'll need to cut out the helix, but on the underneath side, I need to add catenary. This is my first attempt. I have long, long pieces of copper wire and I'm now going to uh, see how this works. So each, I have sections marked out. You can see from the outside to the inside to the outside, making sure that it's within the size of the pentagraph. So I'm now going to string up sections of wire underneath the loop, cut it out and that will then be used by the pentagraphs. So that's at least one aspect of this helix perhaps which is reasonably unique because I don't think there are many modelers that have live catenary and building uh, this way. But although I'm not a real fetishist Regards modeling and I can accept the Markland three rail system. Uh, I do like to have live catenary and starting to build up. Parts of Rhineland 1 still exist over there. But as I build Rhineland 2 this will this will be dismantled further as well. Since I'm cannibalizing obviously Rhineland 1 into Rhineland 2. test track.
with catenary. I have live catenary on all my layouts. Check the lights when I push down the pantograph. The trains actually work on the uh, catenary. It allows to have two, at least two power districts in every area, two boosters, and makes for realism as well. I need to work on this train, it's not working properly. But this is a tra test track with catenary on the test track and the test setup, computer control, booster, and some projects I'm working on in the so it's all this junk on the desk. One of the projects I'm working on is uh, I've got Marklin K rails now and I'm uh, building underneath drives using the, a Conrad servo. You can see it I can hold it up. You can see the server operating point. You can also operate it manually. This little stick here, the drive, you can operate it manually as well. One of the things I did was make a little uh, push pull unit uh, based on a based on the Marklin uh, drive. This is the Marklin drive, here's a little unit and just on some styrene I copied it over. So now I have a little unit with a hole on the other side for the drive stick from the servo so I can just stick and then stick this into the Marklin drive push it in and now you can operate it manually as well. Should be able to once I get it sorted out. And the servo operating the drive underneath. Now the little aspect is uh, Marklin K rails. This is the old style K rail. New K rails even uh, much uh, much shinier, but you see the sides here are shiny and not realistic. So I've got some brown brown paint, and I'm painting the the rails brown, and uh, just sanding down the top so that it's good pickup. But the sides are now all dark, dark brown as they would be in, in real life. Bit of a chore painting all the rails, but saves having to do it afterwards, I guess. Another thing I'm working on. I've never used K rails before, so it's all new for me. Some experiments in uh, ballasting the old M track and the new uh, K track. See how they uh, they work out. I think of the old M track, but this is a better, a little bit more realistic view. Of course, for the purists, Marklin has the three three rail points point system in the middle. So purists will uh, will say, yeah, it's never going to be really exactly. But then you see some two rail purists running electric trains without overhead wires, which annoys me greatly also. 